स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी लर्न अबाउट वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एफिशिएंसी ऑफ एन इंजन वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एफिशिएंसी ऑफ एन इंजन इज इन रिगार्ड्स दैट ड्यूरिंग सक्शन स्ट्रोक हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज एन इंजन कैन एक्चुअली सक इनसाइड ओके सो फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस स्टोरी दैट आई एम टेलिंग दिस इज अमेट्रिक डायग्राम ऑफ अ फोर स्ट्रोक ऐसा इंजिन you can see that this is the cylinder and this yellow color is a piston this is the connecting rod this is the flywheel this is the inlet valve blue colored and this is the outlet valve and this is the spark plug this is an indicating diagram just to make you understand okay we know this thing that the first stroke of four stroke si engine is a suction stroke and the beginning of suction stroke is that piston is at tdc at top dead center the inlet valve opens and the next is piston moves toward the bottom dead center and the entire cylinder fills up with charge okay this is how the suction stroke ends it starts ideally at top dead center and ends at bottom dead center in ideal condition okay now next is the compression stroke whatever the charge which was sucked inside is compressed now now to this compressed charge a spark is introduced by this way the fuel the charge which is compressed inside ignites so it develops high pressure inside the cylinder so it develops a push over the piston so that push converts into working stroke so next stroke is working stroke and ultimately at the end of working stroke when the piston is at bottom dead center the outlet valve opens and all the burned gases are expelled out and ultimately when reach, uh, piston reaches the top dead center the outlet valve closes okay so there are four strokes suction stroke inlet valve opens the engine sucks the charge inside the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center and next is compression stroke both the valves are closed whatever charge is sucked inside is compressed and piston moves from bottom dead center to top dead center ultimately the compressed charge in the compressed charge a spark is introduced so by this way the entire fuel ignites it develops a push over the piston because high pressure is developed and energy developed so the next stroke is the working stroke piston again moves from tdc to bdc and ultimately when entire work is done the outlet valve opens and engine expels out the burnt remains the burnt gases out of the cylinder but practically what happens see uh, suppose it is the beginning of suction stroke the inlet valve opens and this red color entity i am showing it as charge okay now piston has started to move toward bottom dead center okay the inlet valve has been open and the charge is going inside you can see okay now what happens that when the piston reaches the bottom dead center you can see that entire cylinder is not filled up with charge can you tell what could be the reason simple since the piston when an engine operates then it operates with very high speed okay so the to and fro motion of the piston is very high so since the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center with very high speed so what happens that with the the speed by which the piston is creating void inside vacuum inside with the same speed the charge is not sucked so some space remains vacant you can see this white color region is actually vacant so it means what the ratio of the actual amount of charge the engine is sucking inside by displacement of piston and the theoretical volume which the piston is displacing that ratio actual volume of charge sucked inside upon the volume the piston has displaced the volume the piston has vacated this ratio is called as volumetric efficiency it is always lesser than 1 because the actual amount of charge the piston is sucking is always lesser than the amount of volume the piston is actually vacating once again when piston moves from tdc to bdc with very high speed then the speed by which it is creating vacuum inside with the same speed it is not filled up with charge ultimately the inlet valve closes so now there is no more opportunity to suck more charge so some space remains vacant so amount of charge actually sucked inside upon the amount of suction volume which has been produced by this movement of piston is called as volumetric efficiency and it is always less than 1 okay now why this thing is happening if the piston is creating a vacuum inside then why with the same speed the charge is not filling inside it could be understood by this following experiment 
see this is a trolley a cart which has wheels you can see it is connected by an elastic band this is an elastic band which can be stressed and ultimately ending with the ring it is also connected to this elastic band it is resting over horizontal surface now pull this elastic band suddenly give a sudden pull by just putting finger inside this ring and give a sudden pull what you will find that initially this elastic band expands and then this trolley starts moving afterward means the elastic band is pulled in a fast fashion but with the same fast fashion the trolley doesn't moves the first first of all the elastic band expands and then due to that expansion the trolley is pulled so it comes late the movement of trolley and the movement of this ring to a right hand side are not synchronized okay the reason is the elastic band is actually expandable so first it expands and then the force is transferred to this cart and then it starts moving same case is there with air see the charge which is sucked inside the engine is actually a form of gas okay vapor and gas are almost similar in nature gases and vapors are expandable and compressible too okay so what happens you can see that this is a cylinder there is an orifice in it a hole and this is a piston in case piston moves with a very fast speed then suppose this hole is open to atmosphere then it is creating vacuum inside but the speed by which the piston is creating vacuum inside with the same speed the air doesn't fills it takes some more time some more amount of time is needed by the air to completely fill that vacuum because same as like that of this elastic band air is also expandable and gases and vapors all sorts of gases and vapors are compressible and expandable this is the reason that in this engine the speed by which vacuum is created inside speed by which the piston is pulling the charge with the same speed the charge is not filled inside okay so you would have understood what is the volumetric efficiency of engine the amount of charge during suction stroke the engine actually sucks and the amount of theoretical volume the piston is actually displaced so this ratio is called as volumetric efficiency now how to mitigate this problem what are the possible solutions to overcome this problem one solution is see in case the size of inlet valve is kept bigger than the size of outlet valve you can see over here that over the cylinder head these are the two valves you can see that inlet valve has bigger size okay so bigger size inlet valve means bigger orifice of opening so in case the orifice is of bigger size then the problem of sucking less charge by movement of piston reduces because in case the hole is see uh, over here in case we are making a big size hole in that case more amount of air can enter inside because the opportunity for air to go inside the cylinder in case the area of this orifice increases becomes more smaller this hole is more the air would find a restriction in the path of the flow so bigger size inlet valve is beneficial to improve the volumetric efficiency of engine because it increases the size of orifice so through bigger size orifice more amount of charge can enter inside by movement of piston in case piston is moving in a fast fashion now an another way is uh, to mitigate the problem of volumetric efficiency however by this method 100% volumetric efficiency cannot be achieved but some benefit is still there by adopting this technology that is called as by extending the closing time of inlet valve we know this thing that inlet valve completely opens at the beginning of suction stroke okay so over here we can see that inlet valve has been opened now what happens that don't close it exactly when the piston reaches the bottom of the center you can see ideally it must close exactly when the suction stroke ends that means the piston is at bottom of the center so in case we are not closing it exactly when the piston is at bottom of the center then just after bottom of the center since piston is in continuous movement it is starts moving toward the top of the center so we can see that in that case more amount of charge can be sucked inside because we have given more time because we know this thing by this experiment that in case we give some time then the cylinder can be fulfilled by the amount of air which the piston has vacated similarly over here in case we are giving some more time of opening then more amount of charge can be sucked inside but over here we can see one thing 
that piston has started moving toward the top dead center so this much amount of volume has been killed by this way but some benefit is still there it means what that in case we are closing the inlet valve exactly at bottom dead center then the amount of charge sucked inside is lesser than the amount of charge sucked in case we are giving the inlet valve to remain open for some more time so hope you would have understood that what is a volumetric efficiency of an engine and what are the possible solutions what are the possible ways by which we can improve the volumetric efficiency thank you